love to help her. Uh, I just moved out there a couple years ago from my home province. It's 2156. 21565. Anyway, I moved out here from Seattle. I come out here to do construction. I work heavy construction. Uh, grew up in Windsor out here as a young gentleman and proceeded to raise my family. I bought land in Washington County. My brother lives in Brooker. My other brother lives up in uh, Jennings, right outside of White Springs. He has 360 acre organic farm, which is destroyed now. We kept some of the crops we could not grow. They had literally died. Couldn't figure it out. And then eventually, soil test after soil test proved that the soil was being polluted by dust. I've been to Jennings, I know. I've shopped at the Piglet Woodley there. I worked for Halco Environmental for years. I worked for North Florida Oil Company. And I worked with the DEA and or Department of Environmental. I know what goes on with these, and I know the groundwater was highly polluted out there. The phosphorus destroys a lot of the land, a lot of the food processing and destroys a lot of the wildlife because there's not enough vegetation out there to support a lot of them because of what the dust has done, the strip mining, the water uh, overflow from excessive rain, our water was depleted and I moved out here. I used to live in Rum Island off Rattlesnake Road. And I watched the Santa Fe go down to where I could walk across the ankle deep water. This was just a few years ago. I built the waste treatment plant out here in Rayford. Before that was built, it was considered to be a pollutant in the rivers and the land area. And when we built that, it was supposedly to stop the pollution years ago. That was in 91. I was working for Cobar Construction out of Gainesville. I <coughs> built football stadiums all over this country. I built high rises in Miami, Orlando, Jacksonville, and Gainesville. I built water treatment plants, and I built two waste treatment plants with a company in Gainesville. What this is going to do is take our water from Hilburn Springs, Healing Springs, and it's going to drop our springs down to nothing. We will not have a healing spring. What we'll have is no water, no peace, and a lot of devastation in this county that if you pass this, you will find out in the long run.